Hello from Slovenia again. It's an experimenting day again. Mm. Last year, probably about the same time, for those who follow me a little longer, you know that I was playing with this um, mixture of uh, titanium white and polyurethane satin varnish from Vallejo <coughs> and I did some mallet smashes or hammer smashes on CDs and some canvases and wooden boards and since I got my Australian float roll I mixed myself a little bit of black cell activator too and I will go just this is just a little 8 by 10 canvas just to practice uh, and I will go just for some colors in the middle if, almost the same if I would do a swipe but I will blow this middle out a little bit not with the hair dryer just with my mouth or straws or I will see uh, I remember that that I do these experiments last year when I spoke to Spicy Boys, my Spicy Boys, uh, Massey Art Studio, Jeremy and Lee, and I said, "Yeah, I have to play a little bit with this some more." If you don't know who Spicy Boys are. Please check their channel, Massey Art Studio. And we are planning to do uh, something special for you, so... Okay, probably this will be enough. And because this is not bloom thing or something I can... Uh, <laughs> torch. So I will add just a little stripe in the middle. Kind of in the middle. You see how this paint polyurethane satin varnish reacts? It tends to eat paint, so that's why I'm hoping for some nice result. I added a Lizarian Violet first and then Reflex Orange and a little bit of gold. This is a lot of gold. <laughs> and some Cadmium Yellow Dip. Oh, there was something in there. I hope that I will get it out. But I will try that later and some magenta okay and now my black cell activator okay and now I will just try to
that I will add just a little more black here. Okay, so you see this is what I was looking for and now I will just tilt this hopefully I get enough paint I will add some more white around just that it will not you know me I want to keep some hmm, patterns that I like and I'm willing to sacrifice a little of base white paint for that Probably it wasn't the best idea to do this on spin table, but to keep that. my straw Maybe I should even rack it before I tilt it, but this was just a test and definitely would love to have more space to, to uh, stretch this a little more to get this wispy lines and fade into white but as I said I was experimenting uh, with smaller canvas so here is the close-up that you will see 
what I'm talking about. This smoky feeling. You can almost see through. And this yellow lacing. Definitely I would love to have more of this on you probably understand what I'm talking about. So tell me what you think. Should I try to do some more of this? I will blow this one uh, over the edge too because all of the others go over the edge. So. I don't know, it looks like a leaf. I will leave it. So tell me what you think about this technique. I'm pretty sure that I will definitely experiment more. So this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye.